Hey guys, what is up? Oliver BC here. Welcome back to the Journey to Jera. This is episode number 21. Um, we are playing the uh, game number 2 to game number around 15, I'm thinking, uh, in this episode. No boards again. These have not been good tops. Oh, we get Venetius Jr. He's a fun card to use. We might use him as a sub um, at some point. But anyway, guys, uh, so in today's episode, we are playing Fit Champs with post commentary. So that is going to be super fun. Uh, we've got quite a few games to get to, through though, so let's get straight into the gameplay. So I only ended up being able to record 12 games for this video, guys. Um, starting off with a pretty crap goal there. Um, oh, I remember this game now. This guy was the dad of our year. So we go down 1-0 in the first game here, guys. Uh, we make it one all with Luis Suarez. He's incredible. Get used to seeing Luis Suarez score, guys. My opponent scores possibly an even worse goal than his first one on the 45th minute there. To go 2-1... Up oh, with the new informed Sabitzer. Looks like a really decent card. What a crazy goal. I don't remember that one at all. I'm shushing him, obviously, because he dabbed me. That was on the 46th minute, so don't mind if I do. Going to give him some fancy footwork. Switches onto his right. Bangs it to go 3-2. Um, after the first two goals, I tried to dab, but for some reason it didn't work. But we finally got the dab out here, which is nice. Unfortunately, on the 66th minute, I win the ball back. And I don't even... I've watched this like five or six times. I still don't get how Werner got that shot off, let alone scored the goal. So, yeah, it is 3-all. On to the penalty shootout. First one I've had of this FIFA's foot champs. Uh, we've both scored the first one, so I didn't bother putting it in. But he saves my second attempt, and I'm not... I don't know how to... For my farmer, doesn't really save that. I know I say in the middle, but surely he just put his foot out of something. So my opponent has the advantage. As we... I think it's Werner scores it there. So we have a 2-2, but if he scores... We have to save this to stay level. And unfortunately, he puts it through. So we are down. Luis Suarez up to the plate now. You all know he's going to score it. Mr. Reliable from anywhere on the field. And then, I can't tell who his player is. But if he scores it, they go into... Um, I think I need to save this to stay in it. Yep. So, no, I have to score this to stay in it. So if his Sommer saves this, we lose. And his Sommer saves it. And we lose. <laughs> and that is how the game ends. 3-0, and we lose on penalties. It's not a great way to start the day or this video. My next opponent has a pretty decent Premier League team, but our team is definitely better. We start the game with just the typical. I wonder how many Foot Champs games I've like started with a kickoff finesse shot, a uh, time finesse shot with Lucas. Probably a good like 15 of the, what, 40, 42 I've played or so, so far. Unfortunately, my opponent comes back with Mkhitaryan with a finesse of him, his own. Really nice little play there off kickoff to get Suarez an open shot on his left peg, uh, but it's 2-2 immediately as his McTarian scores. Pretty much the exact same shot that we just scored. 21st minute now, Fred with some fancy footwork, gets onto his preferred left. We do get the green beam, uh, like Suarez does there, and we go 3-2 up and then 4-2 up. That was Coutinho, actually, sorry. My opponent then makes it 4-3. This is only the uh, 35th minute, if you guys hadn't noticed, by the way. And then 4-4 on the 38th minute. And then the goal's dried up because finally one of us didn't score the kickoff goal. Because it was just kickoff goal, kickoff, kickoff goal, after kickoff goal. Finally, the, the, the kickoff goal stopped and we score with Lucas on the 8th minute. And then we just score a pretty pointless goal on the 93rd minute. But uh, yeah, we do win that 6 4. And definitely a deserved win. Especially since I just saw that guy's team name. <laughs> name like that, you shouldn't get any wins. Anyway, on to the next game, guys. He's got a really, really nice French team and. And Modric, he's not actually French him at all, I was just looking at Griezmann. He's got Kante and Griezmann anyway, and then Modric as well. So a really, really, really good team. He's been yet to just teleports backwards to be able to hit that, because it was a terrible pass by, I believe, Griezmann. My Suarez, though, with a beautiful pass into Coutinho, makes it 1-all. 33rd minute now, he, he absolutely does mean that. That was actually a good goal, fair play. It's so refreshing to actually score, concede a good goal, and then he comes back and does a cross and volley. So back to the meta and the usual. Tells gives it to Gundogan, the absolute beast. The Gundogan was insane this these uh, 12 games. And we do lose 3-2, which was really disappointing. This next game, though, guys, was so triggering. Look at this guy's team. He's got 3 million coin Cristiano Ronaldo up front. And he played counter-attacking the whole game. Anyway, though, on the 12th minute, we have a frequent continue. I'll try to give it to Lucas. It goes to Boateng. I still have the finesse in his left foot. It somehow goes in. He's got that four-star weak foot. So, uh, yeah, that's always fun. On the 19th minute now, I actually didn't realize this one went in. And then I saw the crowd celebrate. I was like, wait, what's happening? And then I realized that it was one. I was like, what? His bottom of the scores a ridiculous volley there. I thought it was wide. 
On to the 47th minute now, as Cristiano, I thought he was offside, so I was bringing the keeper out. He wasn't offside, and we go 2-1 down. Then on to the 78th minute, I think I switched to attacking, and I immediately paid for it. Farmers is in no man's I didn't even call him out there. There was a couple times this for champs, where Farmer just decided to go out himself, and it was so frustrating. We go 4-1 down, and then I've got some live commentary. This is me live speaking now, guys. I'm just so sick of versing these guys with such pay-to-win teams who just sit back and play counter-attacking the whole damn game. I know he's playing a 4-2-4, so it looks like he's playing attacking football, but I bet he has dropped back and everything like that. Yeah. Oh, such so frustrating. Like, it's annoying enough versing someone like that who has like a team like me too. He has the 3 million coin card up front. 3 million coin card up front. And he just plays counter-attacking. Unbelievable. Alright, back to the post commentary. I'm not just angry because I'm 2-3, and three, which is a terrible start, by the way. Terrible. I was, I was really 5-0 and oh last week at the same point. I was technically 4-1, and one, I think. Uh, but I shouldn't be 5-0 and because oh, the stupid DC. But this is just going so badly. And everyone is just playing counter-attacking. And it's so frustrating. Like, yes, yeah, I can just play it and do better. But I don't want to play with that. I play FIFA to have fun. I don't play FIFA to get rewards. I don't play FIFA to... You know, make money. I'm not in any tournaments or anything. I play FIFA to have fun. And I'm not going to have fun sitting back and playing counter-attacking football. I might not even finish this for champs if I get sick of it. Because I'm not playing it to get rewards. I'm playing it to have fun at the end of the day. So, that being said, let's get on to the gameplay. The rest of the gameplay. I should be able to finish the games, guys. I'm just saying this now because I'm annoyed. But, like, if I'm not enjoying the game, I'm not going to play it. Like, I'm not going to force myself to. That's the trap I got into last FIFA. You know, I'll play the 40 games, I feel miserable at the end of it, because, you know, I'll get the rewards, and the rewards aren't good. It's just like, oh, well, that's that. Didn't have fun, and I got nothing. So, now that little rant's over, uh, I've calmed down since then, guys. Don't you worry. I took a break after that game. On to the next game, guys. We're versing BT. Um, don't know if he's a Brian Taylor fan or what, but we score a nice goal there with Gunnigan on the 11th minute. Gunnigan was just an absolute machine, this foot champs, guys. Lucas with a tiny little bit of footwork here, switching onto his right foot. Only yellow release, but it does the trick to go 2 0 up. My opponent scores with some crappy cross header goal uh, at some point in this game, and we make it 3 1 with Timo Werner, the super sub of Dreams, at the end to get put us at three wins. If you guys didn't know, I played a game uh, in yesterday's video, and I won it. So that's why the record might not look like you guys would think from this video. He scores a ridiculous header on the second minute with Verdi of all people. So triggering. This game, this game was so weird, guys. Anyway, 22nd minute, he crosses in again. He somehow wins the header again. At this point, I was so damn triggered. My continue was injured from a foul that wasn't counted. And then this goal. Oh, my God. These are possibly the three worst goals I've conceded in this entire FIFA. And they all happened in 25 minutes of one game. But anyway, guys, Istanbul-esque. On the 33rd minute, our main man, just like it was for Liverpool in real life, with Gerrard, scores the first goal back. We'll spread, spread it up here a little bit. Because off of my opponent's kickoff, we get a rebound header with Fred there on the 39th minute to make it 3 2. We're back in the game. And then on the 40th minute, guys, this is just insane, guys. Just sit back and enjoy this one. What a volley. 3 0. Vice makes it 3 0 with that volley. Just absolutely filthy. Ridiculous goal. And then we make it 4 3. On the 61st minute, so in the second half now. And right off of his kickoff, we get the ball back with Coutinho, who's gone taken a very deep roll. Suarez with a beautiful, beautiful through ball. Lucas time is run to perfection. Finishes it through his goalkeeper to make it five. And that is how the game ends. So we get not only do we get the win, guys, uh, but we do get uh, one game towards a new uh, foot swap player because you need to win, I think, eight games by two goals or more. So that is awesome. My next opponent, guys, Untrayable FC, so he's probably paid a win for all these two player packs and gotten a sick team. We score a corner there. I think it's the first corner I've scored all foot champs, it feels like. Um, so, oh, the first two goals of this game were corrupted for some reason, guys. So, it, you couldn't see the first 35 minutes. They'll probably just kick off finesse shots with Lucas, let's be real. Um, and my opponent does rage quit there, and we get the 4 0 win. So, not too bad. We also didn't even have to play the full game. I like getting wins, Dad. I didn't have to play the full game. We get to get into the next game even faster. My opponent has a very nice City A team there. Uh, we just score a ridiculous finish with Coutinho to open up the game with 23 minutes in. That's quite late for the first goal of a foot champs game. 30th minute though, our main man Suarez does 
what he does and scores a wonderful, wonderful goal. Merton's on the counter-attack, though, in the 63rd minute. does make it 2-1. And he gets the rebound with Merton's in the 83rd minute to level it up. This celebration, guys, I sped up, went for 31 seconds. 31 seconds. So then on the 93rd minute, guys, we get a rebound with Suarez, and you already know what I'm doing. <laughs> Unfortunately, my celebration only went for 22 seconds, so I couldn't quite um, make it as long as his to annoy him back. But <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we win that game 3-2 with a wonderful rebound there by Suarez, and that does give us Silver 3. My next point has a really, really nice Brazil team with Vardy and Lacasuedi up front. Um, Fabinho and... Oh, I remember this game now. This game was ridiculous, guys. There were so many goals in this game that I couldn't show all of my chances and everything because there were a lot of chances. This game, I probably could have just shown the full game, to be honest. There were that many chances. So we go 2-0 down in the 37th minute there, guys. Uh, Suarez, though. I don't know why I should that on his outside of the foot, but I'm glad he did because what a finish that was uh, to make us 2-1 down. And the Gundogan, just absolute beast, makes it 2 all with a lovely finesse shot there. And then, guys, this goal that my opponent scores here... Oh, no, not this one. We win the ball back there with Nabi. He gives it into Lacazette. My man's just ran completely off the ball for some reason. And he makes it 2-3. This goal, left foot across by Vardy, a left foot volley by Fabinho. He has two-star weak foot, I think about 68 crossing. I mean, volleys. And then we get a green bean with Suarez there with his left foot. He's got four-star weak foot that can actually score those, so it's not as annoying. And then we level up 4-0 with a beautiful finesse with the right foot this time from Suarez. And that is how the 90 minutes ends, guys. For all, as you can see, on the 107th minute, I wasn't calling Famine out here, and this one's completely out of position. I mentioned that before when he did that before. It's just so frustrating. Fortunately for us, though, we do have a little man in our team named Luis Suarez, who's just dribbling around trying to get the, my opponent to overcommit. Eventually, does it right there. We get space. We just pump it into the back of the net. 150 minute, we make it five all. Luis Suarez, man, take a bow. Unfortunately, though, off my kickoff. Berfina crosses it in, Koma gets a header, he's clearly offside, and he gets the rebound, and it counts. And I lose that game 6-5, and you guys are about to enjoy this. Look at that. His goalkeeper made 20 saves. His Edison made 20 saves. 20. Farman hasn't made that the entire foot champs. So we do lose that 6-5. You know, I had 15 shots on target, 25 in total. Oh, that game. I, I took a break after that, guys. <laughs> Let's just, I'll just say, I took... I took a, a nice little break after that game. My next opponent, though, guys, is apparently my dad. His team name. Uh, pretty good Premier League team. My team's definitely better, though. We start the game, like usual, with a Lucas Finesse on the second minute. Uh, it's not the first one of those this foot champs, that is for sure. We win a penalty. I didn't show how we won it, but I actually don't remember how either. Um, to go 2-0 up. Gretzky with a tight little finish there. Makes it 2-1. Uh, we actually do fail finesse there, guys. I put I kept that in just to show you guys that I actually do fail finesse sometimes. Because I realize when I'm editing this, like, it just looks like I score every single finesse I ever take. But yeah, that was a green beam, but we still miss it. And then, um, counterpoint to what I just said, though, we do score a lot of our finesses that we take. Gundogan got something on the score sheet again with a lovely little finesse there. And then, oh, <laughs> a left-footed Lucas cross into a right-footed Fred Volley. Don't you just love it? Gundogan, though... I've said it so many times in the video already, guys, but what a foot champs he's having so far. And then Gundogan on the 90th minute completes a wonderful hat-trick. He gets his second hat-trick of the weekend, guys. We win 5-2, and that does give us... No, it doesn't. That puts us on seven wins. Was that his first hat-trick? I don't know. That's a bit awkward. Anyway, six minute guys against a wonder team, including the new player of the month. Hazard Weiser gets another lovely volley. Unfortunately, on the 14th minute, he equalizes with Lucas. Um, 27th minute, we have a corner. I'm controlling Suarez, and I jump right at the perfect time, and we score a nice little uh, near post header. Like, everyone always scores against me, but I never can manage to do for some reason. On to the 43rd minute, now Suarez has the ball, finds a lovely little pass into Lucas. Lucas finesses it. Not even a timed one. I don't know if I stuffed it up or if I didn't go for one. I can't imagine not going for one. But anyway, this opponent, even though he had ridiculous plays, just crossed it every single time. So frustrating at verse. We win another header there. I'm very composed here. I headed a cross goal for with Lucas. I could have just rushed it and gone for goal, but I didn't. I hit a cross from goal, and Gundogan scores a game. This, guys, I watched that so many times, and I just I still don't understand how that was a penalty. Like, you guys can replay that if you want. Like, that just wasn't a penalty. And then he sweats it to make it for all. And the choke has been completed. 
On the 83rd minute, he cuts it back to Aguero. Nothing I can do about that. He scores it to make it 5-4, and unfortunately, that is how the game ends, guys. Complete choke job by us. But what are you meant to? What are you gonna do? Like, I think that was one of the games where I didn't have fitness. Um, anyway, guys, this last game I started the recording too late. He paused at the start though, so I thought I could take that time to show you what he had. I yeah, played with Lucas and a couple other Premier League guys. Suarez with a beautifully weighted through ball there. And we do score it. Sorry if I stop speaking there. My computer went to sleep for some reason. We go for the tackle there. I completely missed time. It looks, it might even look like I was trying to just, you know, take the red card and not concede the goal. But I was honestly trying to win the ball there, guys. Uh, you guys could have seen there how I uh, re remade my team. You guys can go back and pause if you want to see how I've set up my team after that. The guys, are ready for this? Boom! Continue with probably the goal of the foot champs for me so far. Right after Gundogan scored to put us 2 0 up. Gundogan again makes it 4. Just Gundogan, I think he's got like 15 goals or something in his foot champs as he scores again, I think, right there. That, well, that might be his hat trick. I think that would be Gundogan's hat trick. He's second or third of his foot champs. It's not ridiculous like that. Suarez just bangs it as he does all foot champs, guys. No one else, I haven't even tried first time shots at anyone else, but. Oh, guys, this, look at this shot. Oh, if that went in, guys, that would easily be the best goal for champs probably the whole year. It doesn't go in there, guys, but it doesn't matter as we do win 6-0. Very deserved win. And that does give us silver three, uh, silver two, sorry. And that is all I've played so far up to date. So that is it for today's episode, guys. I'm now going to go to my live reaction kind of after these games and um, finish up the video. All right, guys, so we finish the day with a record of 8 and 5. Uh, so we have silver 2 at the end of the first big lot of games. That is the exact same as we were at the end of last games, I believe. But we were 8 and 7 at this point last week as instead of 8 and 5. So we are improved, which is amazing. How could you not improve with Luis Suarez up front? How amazing is he? Some of the goals he scored uh, are, are just incredible. Um, so, yeah, uh, I can't actually play... Uh, any FIFA today. Oh, I can play FIFA, but I can't record it today. So I need to take a break for the rest of today because I recorded this the day before. So the day you seeing this, I can't actually play any um, foot champs. But then on Monday, I have to grind the last lot of games and Sunday night, maybe. So yeah, hopefully I don't have to rush my games too much and we can get into goal two again. Or if not goal three, I'm perfectly happy with that because we still get the two red player picks and some pretty good packs as well. So anyway guys, that is it for today's episode. If you enjoyed, please do leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, then please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.